Hi, welcome to another edition of Adventures in Bruce Lake. As always, I'm your host, Joshua Karpowicz. Today we'll be doing the Walking Dead inspired Blood Orange IPA, which is made by Terrapin Brewing Company out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, where the brewing company is and where they actually film The Walking Dead is about an hour apart, and apparently actors in the movie are really big fans of Terrapin Brewing. And so is the creator of the show, uh, Robert Kirkman, who also created the comic book. Like, I think it's been about almost a decade now since the comic book came out. So he and the actors went to Terrapin Brewing and said, we want to make a beer for the show. We want to do something really, really different. And uh, we came out with a Blood Orange IPA. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's just get in the brew. I've been showing you guys the bottles a lot lately. And uh, I think Robert Kirkman might have helped do the artwork on this. Um, which is pretty cool. You know, it's got the terrapin turtle. Um, it's a mainstay with, with them. So, and this beer has been so popular. It's been hard to get a hold of it. I mean, between the, the comic book, the show, and the beer, I mean, everybody's been just jumping all over it. It's really, really great collaboration work. So, let's see how it pours. Okay. Not really a blood orange looking beer, per se, but you can see it's kind of got a, a little bit of that hue in there, which is really cool. Ooh, right off the bat, I mean the orange is just, <laughs> this whole room space is just filled with it, it's really cool. Not really a whole lot of head to it. You get definitely, it definitely smells like an IPA. IPAs always have this really hoppy smell to them. They really come right off the bat. Let's taste it. Ooh, that is really nice. It really has this kind of bitter flavoring, which the orange kind of intermingles with, which is really, really cool. And it, um, also, um, it doesn't really taste like um, a lot of uh, Terrapin's other IPAs. This one really, I don't know what kind of hop they're using, but it's definitely different. It's not, I wouldn't even really consider this like an Indian Pale Ale, maybe like an APA. It's definitely, it's got a really ref, uh, refreshing flavor to it as well. And uh, the more you go down, I can really uh, start to feel a little bit of warmth in my chest. And uh, also the orange really gives a, a nice uh, flavoring um, overall. Like uh, the bouquet kind of stays with you. Um, also, the farther you go down, that bitterness kind of starts to, to dissipate a little bit. Um, it's not so heavy um, uh, on the bitterness. It's more, it kind of goes more into, uh, more into the orange, I, I feel. The hop also... Um, really starts to uh, kind of make itself a little bit more um, intermingled in the overall beer taste, meaning that um, you're not getting, and I find this with a lot of beers, that you're only tasting the hop. Whereas the farther you go down, the beer flavor itself starts to you know, come forth a little bit more. I would definitely, amazingly enough, you know, thinking of the food that I might want to pair with this, I think I would actually pair it with Thai food, something really, really spicy, because it's a very refreshing drink. 
it's something that, you know, really needs to um, uh, rejuvenate you as opposed to uh, be like a, a taster piece with it. And it's really rejuvenating, I think. And also to, to note, there's not a whole lot of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's not a whole lot of carbonation in there. It's kind of, um, it's kind of just a, a set alone beer, you know, and actually, you know, the, with the more, the more time this beer has been out, um, and, uh, kind of sitting in the glass, it's kind of turned a lot more blood orange looking. Apparently they take, uh, blood orange peels and it gets brewed with these peels, which is really cool. A pretty ingenious way to kind of add it in there. Though, you know, I'm not really, I'm not really sure. Maybe they should have went with like an amber, you know, like, uh, like an amber lager to kind of go with. But the IPA really comes out nicely, I think. So, um, overall, you know, I would give this, this beer, uh, four stars. Definitely one of the better collaboratory beers out there, um. You know, I mean, Game of Thrones makes a lot of different beers. Um, a lot of bands make a lot of different beers, such as Iron Maiden. I think Black Sabbath might have one out there, too. Um, but this is definitely one of the better ones I've tried so far. Um, as always, um, if you guys have any requests you'd like to see us do, or um, you have any comments, please leave them below. And we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Um, as always, have fun, Bruce Lane. Um, and definitely, I would definitely drink this beer watching The Walking Dead. Um, as with any beer that's collaboratory, you know, I mean, the creators go to such great lengths to make this beer for you to consume while watching a TV show. And this is definitely one of the better ones. And uh, I really praise Terrapin for making this. And... Uh, have at it. Have a great day.